Hey, this is Josh with Sun South. Today we're going to be talking about iMatch quick hitches and the importance they are when purchasing your tractor, purchasing the implements. Today we got a 44M from John Deere and we've got an iMatch quick hitch to, to the back of it. Now a lot of people want to know which quick hitch do they need? Will it work with my implements? Well, I want to briefly talk about that for you and answer some of those questions. On the Frontier Series, the RC2060 72 rotary cutter, it has a Cat 1 three-point hitch. What that means in Cat 1 is that the lift pins on that unit from center hole to center hole is 28 inches. That's what makes it a Cat 1. Anything Cat 1 will hook up to the iMatch quick hitch. They also offer a Cat 2. A Cat 2 quick hitch is 32 inches from center of the pin to the center of the pin. So 32 inches versus 28 inches. Those measurements are important when purchasing a quick hitch for your implements. All right, before we hook up to this Frontier rotary cutter, we wanna make sure our pins. So we talked about the A-frame or the three-point hitch being Cat 1 or Cat 2. Now we look at our pins. This pin right here is a Cat 1 pin. When you purchase an iMatch quick hitch, it comes with a set of bushings. So what we'll do is we'll slide that bushing on to the lift pin that will allow us to take up the gap in our iMatch quick hitch so there's no slop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how easy it is to hook up an implement with a quick hitch. All right, so Ryan's going to connect to the three-point hitch here. And you notice how he's watching the center hook. If you can keep your eyes on that center hook, it'll automatically line up, and then you pick straight up, and then you're connected. Simple, easy. He's gonna shut his handles down to lock it into place to secure, and he's connected to the rotary cutter. Now the only thing left to do is hook up your PTO shaft. 